Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Razvan and today we are going to talk about M365 groups or modern groups. As we all know, Microsoft has been, has been pushing for these in the past years. Uh, they are, let's say, the new form of uh, working with groups in detriment of uh, using distribution groups or dynamic distribution lists or other ancient forms of grouping users, mainly enable security groups. Obviously, there, there are use cases for each and every one of them, but uh, generally speaking, wherever you go in the portal office.com, you will see that M365 groups are the ones that are being generally promoted. And we are here to discuss some of the issues that you might be facing when creating such a group. So there are multiple things that Microsoft has decided to keep as a default when uh, using or creating M365 groups. So uh, let's take the scenario of a medium to large organization, say some hundred uh, users or maybe even thousand users. What can happen when you create such an M365 group and add everyone in it? Well, multiple things which you might not want. One of these things is that users may receive um, a notification when they're added to this group. So imagine you have a group with 5,000 users. Part of them are your internal users. The rest of them are guest users. You add everyone in uh, via some script or some automatic uh, method or just maybe you create a dynamic, uh, such a dynamic group. So what will happen is that everyone will receive a notification email and let me fetch it out so I can show it to you how it looks. It looks something like this. So my M365 group is M365 is called M365 deal group. Uh, imagine 5,000 people receiving this. You'll for sure get some tens, if not hundreds of calls or tickets to your IT support or help desk asking about what is this? What do I do with this? Why have I received this? What is this group? Especially if you're replacing some old deal with this, people will get really confused and will um, will cause havoc on, on your support lines. So that's one thing that you don't want. Another thing would be uh, the fact that it auto maps in Outlook, as you can see here. Um, that's not good. I mean, there might be use cases where you want that. You want to have that whole conversation structured into uh, the groups there. But in, in a normal scenario, people have a lot of folders here. This is just a vanilla mailbox, but uh, someone that's been working for a number of years will have maybe 20, 30 folders here. And the groups uh, tab is just beneath all of that. So. Whenever a message is sent to that group, that message will not be read, I can guarantee you, uh, if it's so far down. Um, third thing, third thing, and let me draw inspiration from my, my article that I wrote a couple of weeks ago. Um, yeah, so emails, emails go there. Um, but also, also calendar items uh, go there by default. So what, what you may want would be that these N365 groups act more as distribution lists in certain contexts. And that's why we're having this discussion today. So in order to achieve this, to have uh, groups, uh, modern groups act more as, uh, as classic distribution groups or distribution lists, uh, you have a number of options to uh, configure um, or disable from the group. So for the welcoming message, um, and all, all of these or most of these can be done via, via PowerShell and it's what I urge you to do. So you'll have to connect to Exchange Online. I'm already connected in this session. Uh, let's see, let me clear out the screen here. Okay, so in order to disable the um, welcoming messages, you'll have to connect to Exchange Online um, <clears throat> in PowerShell. And I have here the commandlets, set unified group identity, the group ID or the group uh, 
email address unified group welcoming message enabled false so let me just grab my group from here groups uh, m365 yes I was right here and mine is this one yeah primary this is what I need Oop. so whenever this is configured as such um, when you add people to new users to this group they won't receive that welcoming email so that's one thing obviously this can be uh, reversed via uh, putting through true here um, you can do it for all of your n365 groups you get all of your unified groups then you pipe them and for each and every one of them you do set unified group a unified group welcome and welcome message enabled false i won't do that for now but you have that commandlet on my website which is linked down below richwurazvan.com okay uh, now if we want to hide that group from um, auto mapping in outlook which could be useful if we want to have the groups behave as old distribution lists or as classic distribution lists um, we can do this by using this commandlet which i've pasted here uh, set unified group hidden from exchange clients enabled true okay so running that completed but no settings were changed because i've already done that for the group here uh, a couple of seconds ago now uh, there's there's another thing that is kind of painful which is by default the mails in the calendar items sent to such a group go to uh, the group itself so the group has sort of a, its own inbox and calendar if we want those messages to reach the primary mailbox of the user uh, we have to change some things so uh, we'll have to change check the status first getting my group here Oop. so I get unified group identity display name auto subscribe new members so we can see that auto subscribe new members is set to false we will set that to true setting on the auto subscribe new members to true checking that yes it's correct next up check how many members the group has okay so these are the members in uh, in my group these are of type member and that's an important dis distinction because there is also the concept of type subscriber and subscribers is what we want because subscribers get the email messages sent to the group in their own mailbox in their user primary mailbox um, and if we check then uh, which um, members are of type subscriber on that group We'll see that none of them are of type subscriber so let's add users individually as, as subscribers uh, so we will we can use this commandlet add unified group links identity the group which is this uh, link type uh, subscriber links and the user let's go with admin first I think it's like this and it worked now let's check yeah we can see that we have one user of type subscriber in the group so obviously we cannot do that for every every user manually we can do it in bulk for one user at a time and I have a short script that we can use for that okay so it's getting all of its members and it's adding them as subscribers to the same group okay uh, obviously there are scripts over the internet that can help you do this for all of you all your groups 
Um, let's check again the number of subscribers. And yes, now all of them are subscribers to the group. All of the members have now become subscribers. You have turned also auto subscribe on. So any new members will also auto subscribe. Uh, what's left to do is we can turn auto subscribe feature on for all of our groups in our organization. Um, don't know necessarily if that's the thing you want, but maybe you do if you want to do this for all groups. And uh, yeah, is I have some important notes over on my website, which is uh, guest user accounts are always subscribed when added as a member. So guests will by default receive uh, messages sent to uh, a modern group in their inbox. Um, and you can manually remove subscriptions for guest user by using uh, removed, uh, remove unified group links commandlet. Uh, and second important note, if the Microsoft 365 group uh, is hidden from exchange clients, user cannot view the option to subscribe or unsubscribe from the group. Um, if the group is not hidden, users will have the possibility to change this subscription by themselves from Outlook. So beware of that. You may want to have a scheduled task uh, resubscribing members to the, their groups uh, if somehow they choose to opt out of the subscription by, by themselves. So that pretty much covers it. I think uh, this way you can have a modern M365 group act more like a classic distribution list or distribution group. Um, definitely not easy, uh, but uh, doable. Uh, if you need the exact details, you have them on my website, which is linked down, down below. Uh, and to which I highly recommend you to uh, subscribe or to become a member of, uh, and you'll be notified whenever a new post is, um, is published. That's been it. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope it helps you and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.